Hello, welcome to Richard Banker Web Design. Today we're going to look at three different ways that we can add video to our Joomla articles. Uh, we have a Joomla install here. We have our testing article, which is right here. And we have opened it up on the back end right here. And when we open it up, we'll see that we have uh, Tiny MCE open and running. And so here's the problem. I have my embed code, I find a spot to put it, I embed my iframe, I hit OK, I hit save and close, everything is good, right? No, nothing works. Unbelievable, why is this so difficult? It's actually not, and here we'll go through. So option number one. Option number one is you go to your user, you manage it, you change it from whatever you're using to code mirror, save and close. Now we'll go back to our article. We'll open it. We'll see it's all in code view. So I'll just find the spot that I want to put it and hit save. And now when I refresh, ah, there's my, uh, there's my video. So now pay attention to this. So that works. Done. One way, that's how you add a video to Joomla. Now what happens if, well, what happens if we go save and close, and later on we decided I want to edit something in that, and you've gone back, and you have changed it back to default, save and close, back to our articles, open it, and you know, change, change something. Hit save, and all of a sudden, boom! Uh oh, now my video is gone again. That's the drawback of that version. If you ever make any changes to it, you have to do it in code, because removing it, uh, switching it back to Tiny MCE will remove uh, the iframe that you put in there. Well, why is that? Here's the second part to it. I'm just going to close this so I show you. Uh, extensions, plugins, and going down to Tiny MCE. Now, one thing to pay attention to if you allow any sort of users access to your site to add any information at all, and you allow them to have access to uh, the Tiny MCE editor, and you make changes in here, such as we're about to do, they will also be able to do that. So, in version 2, we're going to remove this iframe here and hit save. So prohibited elements, uh, script, applet, and we had iframe in there, we removed it. So what an iframe actually allows you to do is to put anything onto your site uh, via an iframe. So if you allowed someone else to be able to use an iframe on your site, then they could basically put their website on your website or any other spammy thing that you didn't want. So don't do it. If you are having to put videos on your site and you need Tiny MCE allowed for, then you're going to have to do some altering with permissions and stuff like that in order to make that happen. So now we have, oh, let's hit save just so we can see. Yes. We have this. Now when I go to my source code and I add in my iframe and I hit OK, ah, now I've got something here. Now I hit save and ah, it's still there. That's fantastic. Take a look on the front end. Ah, there we go. Now I'm actually able to make changes in here and my iframe is not disappearing on me. I'll refresh again just so you can see. Yep, yep, yep. Now, if you're not confident, option number three, if you're not confident in going in uh, via the source code and inserting something, there is a third option here. You have to make sure that you have uh, Tiny MCE set in expanded mode. So back in our plugin, if you look here, functionality, usually it's set on advanced. There's also simple, 
uh, advanced, and then there's extended. And we want extended. What that will show us is extra buttons. We like extra buttons because they're fun. So now I can say, uh, right about here, I'll click on my insert edit video, and I can click on embed, and here I can put my embed code in. And I hit OK. Ah, that looks right. Save. You can see here, thanks for helping us test Joomla. We know right now that we actually put it in between these two, so let's refresh. And there we go. That's three different ways that you could add uh, YouTube, Vimeo, embed something via your website. If you uh, have any questions, leave them in the comment below. We'll be sure to get to them as soon as we can. Thanks for checking us out.